I have seen people take a pair of these tongs and simply knock it out that way. I just do. That's a lot of swinging that hammer, boy. And this is a smaller one. But as you can see, it's happening. Boy. I'm not going to say that for me, I'm not going to say that that's my favorite method. Although, it works. Whew, that took a lot of work right there. Just for this video, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and pop out a few of these motors and then I'll finish the video later. So 10 motors, how much copper? I'm going to guess that in this, 10 of them, 14 pounds. That's probably a low ball guess, but that's what I'm going to go with. So, like I told you, this is a good tool. Once I get this sharpened the way I want it, this is a freaking great tool. I like driving it right in there. also seen people just push them out. I'm not sure as I have the right tool for that project. And just knock it out that way. Then you just kind of got that little edge to hold on to. I'm not a fan. No, just not a fan. Too big. Some of them are worse than others. But I've never had quite even this much hard time doing one of these. Actually, I've never had one fall apart like that. So the whole casing is literally falling apart, and I think I'm squeezing it up. Never seen one come apart like that, guys. Never. Oh, still got a couple more. Shred steel, though. Oh, just some shred steel. Hardest one ever, right there.
Okay, just that
put them in close. Number nine of ten. These small ones don't want to hold in the vice that good. <coughs> Had any electrical problems? And this one has obviously fried. I think that plastic in there, the plastic kind of sticks to the outside of that motor, inside of it, whatever it is. Number nine, nine motors.
10 motors. All right, that's all the copper from the 10 motors. 10 motors, let's see what we got for weight. You know what we got for weight? I got a zeroed out bucket. There it is, 20.1 pounds, right at two pounds per motor.